Regina, the Acadie Bathurst Titan trailed by a goal and were heading to a power play with 1.34 remaining. Under most circumstances, with a face-off in the opposition's end, the natural decision for a coach is to pull his netminder for an extra attacker. Mario Poli at DIDNT even consider it because, to him, the risk WASNT worth the reward. Stuck in a MasterCard Memorial Cup tie-breaking quagmire late in his team's final round-robin game against the Hamilton Bulldogs, Poliot knew a one-goal loss still had value. That's what happened as the Titan lost 3-2. We had different scenario before the game, right after the second, I just made sure we will stick to the first plan if we were trailing by one and that's a decision I did before the game, even when we were on the power play, he said. We told our players in the last two minutes and it's kind of just playing, by the book. Had the Bulldogs scored in the vacant net and extended the lead to two goals, the Titan would have lost a potential tiebreaker advantage based on an outcome of Wednesday's Regina Swift current game. A Regina win over Swift current would create a three-way tie for top spot between the Pats, Bulldogs and Titan. But the Titan, based on goals for and goals against in games not involving winless Swift current, would hold a one-goal advantage. Another goal against would have tied the teams in that department, but Hamilton would earn the advantage based on its win between the two teams. So, Poliet and the Titan kept goalie Evan Fitzpatrick in the net, played at conservative and lost. We just played by the book, he said. It was clear before the game that if we were trailing by one, we'd just play by the book to keep our second chance to go directly to the final if Regina wins. It's as simple as that. But wait, what about the other scenario if Swift Current beats Regina on Wednesday? Those two teams would be tied with 1-2 to two records. They'd have to play a tiebreaker game a night later for the right to make the semi-final. That would leave only Hamilton and Acadie Bathist with 2-1 to one marks, giving the Bulldogs the edge, and a bye right to the final, because of their win. So, would NT it have been better to try to and do everything possible to beat the Bulldogs rather than put your faith in Regina? I already answered that, Poliot said. The power play was negated with 16 seconds remaining after Titan defenseman Noah Dobson was called for slashing. Knowing some of the math before the game, Bulldogs captain Justin Lemke WASNT surprised Fitzpatrick was still in the net. You've got to do what you got to do to set yourself up in this tournament, he said. Well get ready and see if we play Friday or Sunday. Leading 2-1 entering the third period, Robert Thomas scored on a power play 104 into the third to extend Hamilton's lead to an all-important two goals. But Samuel Asselin scored his tournament leading fourth goal less than three minutes to restore Acadie Bathurst's losing advantage. Hamilton was given a four-minute power play when Elijah Francis was called for high sticking will bitten less than a minute later. Gruden WASNT concerned his team WASNT able to regain the two-goal lead. I don't care, honestly. If we have to play Friday, we have to play Friday, he said. It doesn't matter because when we play the right way, we believe that we're a very tough team to beat. All that's left to do now is watch and pick sides to see who helps them get to the final without having to play another game. For the Bulldogs, that means rooting for the Broncos. We are for one day, Lemke said. We're cheering for Swift Current, Bulldogs defenseman Riley Stillman said. They should have a good game. They're 0-2 right now. They're a desperate team. They wanted to play in the tiebreaker game. We're pushing for them. Hopey they can do the job. The Titan chose not to go for it in the dying minutes. They must now hope the Pats pull through for them. Our goal was to win today so that we control our own destiny, Titan captain Trushon Fields said. We didnt play a real good game today and I know we're better than that and now we have to wait and see what's going to happen.